The Tukhachevsky affair, or the trial against military generals, was a secret trial. The defendants were Marshal Mikhail Tukhachevsky and senior officers Iona Yakir, Ironim Uberovich, Robert Eidman, August Kork, Vitov Putna, Boris Feldman, Vitaly Primakov, and Yakov Gamanik. However, Yakov Gamanik was never tried as he committed suicide before the investigations began. All defendants were accused of anti-Soviet conspiracy and were all tried by the special session of the Supreme Court of the USSR. The trial was presided over by Vasily Ulrich and included Marshals Vasily Blyuka and Semyon Budjoni, as well as Army Commanders Yakov Auksnes, Boris Shapozhnikov, Ivan Panfilovich Belov, Pavel Dybenko and Nikolai Kasharin, along with Corps Commander Yelisi Gorichev. General Mikhail Tukhachevsky was arrested on the 22nd May 1937 and was charged along with seven other Red Army commanders with the creation of a right-wing Trotskyite military conspiracy as well as espionage for Nazi Germany. Before 1990, it was believed that the eight generals had information forged by the Abwehr agents that tricked Stalin into believing the plot was being formed by Tukhachevsky and commanders. However, once the Soviet Union fell and Soviet archives were opened, it showed Stalin created the alleged plot. Nikolai Skoblin, an NKVD agent, was ordered to make a plot that showed the generals against Stalin and pass it to Reinhard Heydrich to strike at the enemies of the Soviet Union and Wilhelm Canaris of the Abwehr. Heydrich forged more documents related to this and passed it back to Stalin as he believed the information would trick Stalin to execute his best generals. Every defendant was sentenced to death and they were all executed on the night of the 11th and in the morning of the 12th June 1937.